Hi. Hi the MD is a cross-platform graphical interface app framework. It is simply a Python library that can be used to develop applications for Windows, Linux, Android, OS X, iOS, and Raspberry Pi. If you're new to Kyvi, I highly recommend you start by watching the video above. In this video we start by looking at the Kyvi MD emulator, install Kyvi MD, then design our first Kyvi MD mobile app with a live preview of what we are coding. While looking for the Kyvi MD emulator, I came across this Kyvi Lite emulator. I installed it, then tested it, but it did not work. So I'm not going to recommend this to anyone, but I will leave this page link below so that you can check it if interested. Now let's focus on what really works for Kyvi MD development. I'm assuming you already have Kyvi installed, so now let's install Kyvi MD. After the installation is complete, run the following code to test the installation. Everything looks fine, let's continue. Now the next part we are going to do is to set up the environment for the Kyvi MD app design. We are going to use the Kyvi MD's Hot Reload Viewer class, which refreshes the UI as continue designing. For this to work, you need to install the Watchdog library by running the following command. After installing, now you have to set up your main Python file to load a live preview and refresh the UI as make changes to your user interface file. Before we do that, let us have a look at the project folder, we have some images and three empty files which we will be using later. So now let us set up the main Python file for a live preview. Import Kyvi Builder and MD App Modules. Then enter the Reload Viewer settings, I will show you another way you can do this from a KV file. Create the view layout, then add the code input container and the reload viewer. Later we will use the KV file and see the syntax highlight in the string, so continue watching. After that create the main class, then specify the kv file path, which is the user interface file. Load the kv builder config string. Create a function that will update the kv file from the editor text. This is the KV file we will be using to design the interface, and this is the KV builder configuration string. On the left is the code input container, and on the right is the user interface preview container. As you can see all errors are also getting displayed. The code entered on the editor is also being updated in the KV file. If you don't like the KV code editor, you can remove it to use your own editor.
Now let us put the KV Builder configurations inside the KV file. Then use these statements to load the Builder configuration. This is the Builder configuration file. We are going to type in the same configurations here. Now we are done setting up the KVMD's hot reloader, personally I prefer an external code editor, so let me remove this. Let me now position the design viewer on the right and show you guys the live design. This is the user interface file we are going to use. So now let's build a real user interface. If you have reached this far, congratulations, now you are ready to start developing KyVMD app. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to convert your KyVMD app to APK for Android devices, then after that we will be developing real apps so stay tuned. That's all for this video and if it was helpful, leave a like and subscribe for future updates. If you love my work you can support me by becoming a Patreon or join the channel membership plan to gain other exclusive content.
You've been watching Spin TV, my name is Hamisi, until next time.